this question here it says use euclid's division algorithm to find out the highest common factor hcf of these three pairs of numbers okay we already know euclid's division algorithm we have to find out the highest common factor of these numbers using this method hcf of 135 and 235 means the highest number which can divide 135 and 225 both and leaves no remainder means remainder should be zero let's take up this first first one 135 and 225 225 is equal to 135 into something plus if i have a remainder i write it here or i write zero if there is no remainder let's divide 225 by 135 okay once you divide 225 by 135 1 is your quotient and 90 is the remainder if you divide further this will get into decimals okay so here i see 1 is the quotient so i write 1 here and 90 is the remainder i'll write 90 here 135 into 1 gives you 135 plus 90 gives you 225 so 225 can be equal to 135 into 1 plus 90. if i take 225 say as c 135 i take as d this one here is quotient i write it as q this 90 here is remainder i write it as r so i have this equation here which says c is equal to dq plus r means 225 is equal to 135 this number here into 1 is the quotient plus remainder 90. we have to find out hcf and this process will keep continuing till the time this remainder gets zero as of now we have remainder 90 let's move ahead this 135 takes place of 225 this 90 takes place of 135 again plus a remainder here this space here we'll see what quotient comes here 135 if divided by 90 it gives you 45 as remainder and 1 as quotient so again i have 1 as quotient and 45 as remainder it's still remainder is there and remainder should be equal to 0 this time 90 will take place of 135 and 45 will take place of 90 45 into 2 gives you 90 and leaves no remainder here the third step we finally see we have a remainder which is zero so 45 would be the number which is the highest common factor or hcf for this pair of numbers 135 and 235 found out through euclid's division algorithm which is this here so hcf would be 40 5. Let's do a quick check here. If I divide 135 by 45, it gives me 3 as quotient and remainder would be 0. 45 into 3 is 135. Let's divide 225 by 45. It gives me 5 as quotient and remainder 0. In both the cases, 45 has divided 135 and 225 completely without leaving any remainder. Now, there is no other number bigger than 45 which can divide 135 and 225 both and leaves no remainder. Since 45 is the biggest number or highest number dividing 135 and 225 both, leaving no remainder, that is why 45 is called the highest common factor HCF of this pair of numbers. So HCF for this is 45. Let's take up the second one. 3, 8, 2, 2, 0. 
196. I have to find out the quotient and if at all there is a remainder. 382201196. Let's divide this. You do the complete calculation, you'll get 195 as quotient and remainder will be 0. It means 196 divides 3820 completely. It doesn't leave any remainder. So here quotient would be 195 and remainder is 0. Since there is no remainder, in that case 196, in the very first step we have found out, 196 would be highest common factor for this pair 196 and 3820. So here HCF would be 196 since remainder is 0. So for the second pair, highest common factor would be 196. Let's move on to the third one. Third one is this 867 and 255. So 867 equals to 255. Let's see what is the quotient here and what is the remainder? 867, 255. 3 is the quotient and 102 is the remainder. So I'll write 3 and 102. We have remainder which is more than 0. So we have to get into the next step. This 255 will take place of 867. So 255 equals to 102 takes place of 255 into 102. So this is the this is the quotient and this is the remainder. So two is the quotient and fifty one is the remainder. Again, we have a remainder here which is not zero, more than zero. So third step, this goes this side one zero two goes to and this comes this side. Now fifty one into two will give you one zero two. It means no remainder. So fifty one would be the HCF for this pair here. So HCF would be 51. So now we have HCF for this pair, this pair and this pair. First one 45, second one 196 and third one here 51. All done.